1-1, I believe, uh, between the two players. We're on, uh, we're on ZTN at the moment in-game, and 0-4 is looking very, very strong with a 9-0 lead. Yeah, Make it 10. <laughs> it's always really interesting when 0-4 is playing the Blood Run, and we're going to get the forfeit there just as we jump in. So that means that 0-4 is actually going to have the edge here in the series, 2-1. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Blood Run is always really interesting with 0-4, again, because I feel like he's, he's always been a very intelligent player in how he basically reads his opponent. That's like one of his best skills. That's why back in the old days, he was one of, the, well, he was at some points the best uh, Pro 24 player because yeah. that map, that, that map actually, I'm a little bit sad that we don't see the, that kind of map I don't anymore. like it personally, but I, 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 but appreci can, I can, appreciate you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's, it's a very different map in terms of play it style is. because it was all about just pure reading your opponent. And that's why some players were insanely good at it. Faz actually was another guy that was amazing at that map. And it's because he has an amazing skill set for reading his opponent, and it, which is very hard. I mean, it sounds a lot easier than it actually is. But we're going to be going into Cure right now. Zero Four already on the lead. This is actually going to be match point essentially for him. If he's, a, if he's able to take this, he'll deny Phrase the rematch against uh, Kilson that uh, Kilson so much. Do, uh, do so have much. to remind, though, this is uh, the map that Phrase beat Kilson on, well, forced him to forfeit early. I think it's something like 12, 13, 14, 0. Yeah. He had oh, yeah. a crazy game versus Kilson there. And what they're going to be encountering each other very quickly. Phrase keeping him out of this mega room. And his rockets have been absolutely incredible. The rail almost getting him the first frag. He's going to find another shot anyway and take it 1 0 for now. Yeah, this, this is such a, a good map stylistically for Phrase and already getting the pace on. And this is where Phrase feels very, very comfortable with a map that's uh, like Toxicity that's not in the pool anymore, which Phrase has so much. Uh, so much comfort with if he gets a fast pace on Cure, that is really scary. And already he's just getting all the damage in. He's not going to go for the push though, but he can hold Zero Four off for just a moment as he deals with the red pickup, and then he's going to put the pressure straight back on. Cure should be a slow map considering the amount of resources that are available for the players on it, but I think Phrase just likes playing it extremely quick, and he's able to put the pressure on that. Other players aren't really able to do so well. And uh, combined with what has been very solid aim that we've seen from him this tournament, uh, it's a good recipe for many, many frags to happen. Yeah, I, I, another thing as well, again, if, if you're good at reading your opponent, you can keep the pressure up. Cypher's actually very good at doing that on this map as well, um, making it look like a fast map at points. And there it is. Phrase will get a lot of damage looking for the follow-up. It looks like he just knows how to handle these fights so incredibly well. That looks so smooth, yeah. as if he always knew that that was going to happen. And he's going to be able to pick up the red off the back of the frag. And 3-0 is the score, and 0-4 is in some trouble. Trying to get a little bit down. I think it was uh, slightly out of range of the LG for a bit of that fight. But Zippo gets escapes with I don't know, 30 or 40 armor. Following that yellow pickup, uh, we've got Mega up in a second. And Phrase, uh, he's going to switch. He doesn't want to risk missing that rail. Oh, it breaks away. Zippo is not able to get too much on him himself, but they're trying to have a little exchange on the items. And I think Phrase has decided actually, you can have that Mega. You've earned it in this fight. Yeah, hard fought Mega. Not much has gone Zero Force way so far, and that's a great string of damage. That was very on point lightning gun, and uh, that's going to shave away a lot of the, the health that Zero Force has been picking up at the moment, and that's going to be very encouraging here for Phrase. Another rail connected. Zero Force just can't really take the fight after hit, uh, that rail is, is uh, taken by, uh, well, dealt to him by Phrase. So now Phrase will go back, replace that rail that's been so good to him, and the Mega's coming up again as well. So is he going to be able to predict Zero Force's approach? I think he heard him actually dropping around the 50. That was that direct rocket as well, the 0 4 hit right at the end. I think that's also um, a slight game changer, but Frey's making good use of all the resources available. Look at the little spam rail he just went for there. Is he feeling confident enough to challenge by this red? It's up right now. This is that first rocket. But Zero Force staying in there for quite a long time. Takes a, a little bit of damage. I don't think that Frey's is going to be able to delay him long enough here to get himself the mega health or. Uh, other significant items. Was the yellow up? Is there any, any challenge from Zero Four? I, I guess there isn't. Maybe he can do something well there. Yeah, he's, he's on. Uh, he's on. Want to really slow this one down and keep himself out of harm's way from uh, Fraser's game plan, which has been filled with good reads actually and solid damage. So. It's a pretty uh, remarkable that Zero Four has been able to work his way back into this one. He's got great stack work working for him as well, and Phrase is relegated to the well. The doldrums of the map. Not picking up the shards, not wanting to give the sound cue away just yet. Now he might be interested in taking the shards. And the mega and the red are coming at the same time. What will be the play here for Phrase? Does he know this? 
So I'm wondering. Going high at the very least, which is which is pretty a pretty safe way to approach this. But it's an indication that he didn't necessarily know when the items are up, or unless he's just uh, counting it in his head and uh, waiting for the later rotations. But that's two major items taken by Zero Four. Uh, after Frey saw that he was dismounting from the Mega, he's going to have a guess that actually the Mega is going to be up. Um, but right 30 now, seconds, 35 seconds after that. As long as he can convert positioning, he's only got 100 resources advantage. And that positioning can balance that out if he gets the first rocket in a fight. Then Frey's is all of a sudden even. So he's trying to play this really, really safe at the moment. And he, I mean, he is in the lead as well. So it is down to 0-4 to take the engagement. Oh, that's that a bit dodge, awkward. That dodge Both is amazing. Missing. I thought the phrases would have hit or absolutely nailed his rockets, but he didn't even do a single point of damage right at the beginning. So zero four managing to hold on to the control a bit better because he was kind of caught, uh, caught out in that instance. And uh, neither player expecting to have the fight happen just there, not connecting those shots. A bit awkward indeed. And another bit of armor going towards zero four. But again, Fraser is very happy to just stay on position because the other thing that staying on position allows him to have is good engagements and oh good escape God. routes. And zero four is really being punished for pushing for this kill. And the rail follow up is devastating there to zero four's stack. In fact, they're both equally low at, the, at this point. Yeah, we've been getting some amazing damage from Fraser with that lightning gun. It's been extremely impressive that he's been holding on to a. Uh, Holding on to that three frag lead so firmly. Gonna be seeing uh, waving goodbye to that red armor, but I mean, as you've already been describing, he he's got the lead. It does he, the pressure's not on him to win the fights or anything like that. He can just do some good damage, feel comfortable with that, and the amount. Oh my god, he he maybe could have even got the kill there if he obviously if he hit that rail he would have. But this is where he he gets a chance to uh, take control himself. So very well done to Phrase going four zero up now, and zero four after th that was a good. I don't know, three, four minutes of control, something like that. And yep. he wasn't able to get anything on the board. I mean, it's just really smart play from Frey's combined with the, uh, well, the correct reads on how, in which way to, to run in certain moments and how to use the, the right positioning and not being too concerned that 3 4 is picking everything up and saying, okay, I've got the lead and it's basically on you to make the move into me and I have the better position. So we're basically even, like, effective even stack because I position you don't. And we're going to get another fight here. Zero-four needs to be on point with the rockets. And he's wow. going to get a steal as well. And it works out very wow. well. Can he follow up off the spawn? He really needs something like that. Yeah, there's going to be yellow up right now. Is Frey's going to be able to go for it? Zero-four not seen anywhere. So Frey's slowly licking his wounds and uh, bandaging himself up. And that was a chance for Zero-four off the spawn. But I don't know where he went. He seemed to have sat on Mega for a little bit of time. He's got the LG, but Frey's is going to take him down once again. That a very strange series of plays. I didn't see Zero Force perspective there, so I'm not really sure what he was doing, but I would have assumed he felt that he had a good chance to get right back at him. And he is going to be dropping another frag. Yeah, honestly, Fraser has, really has played this really perfectly from a decision-making standpoint. It's been really spot on. He's going to find himself another opportunity. He's sure as hell going to take that one. And Zero Force is going to call it. He realizes that he's just, there's no way back in against Fraser. And yeah, beautiful... Beautiful play. Again, i just very impressed there. Text picks up very calm. And this is why Fraze is very dangerous, actually, and can definitely go very far, uh, perhaps much further in the tournament than uh, people would have expected. I, I'd really like to see Fraze playing uh, a Cure or something like that against uh, a Rafa, to be honest. I think that would be a very interesting matchup because he's shown to be amazingly strong on this map. Uh, I, I wonder if he can take it... Uh, take it further against really yeah. The, the, yeah. the absolute elites that are uh, in this tournament. But uh, we are getting a tiebreaker map between uh, these two players in that case. So happy days for us. And we're finding out that I believe that they've just uh, gone over to Sinister. So I think that's what we're going to be getting next. And uh, hopefully this is going to be a slow, intense one that we're going to see. Um, but uh, following from Cura, it feels as if that was a 7 minute and 10 second GG from Zero Four. You still actually have quite a lot of time, and I think that's the, really the level of uh, the, the, the impact that Frey's had in that game where Zero Four just felt absolutely dominated. Yeah, it's completely shot out of that one. And now we are indeed into Sinister, the decider between Frey's and Zero Four. The winner will be up against Kilson. And uh, this is going to be fun. We have right now Zero Four already with the pressure on. He's got the rail, but the LG will be collected by by Freys, and he'll be quite happy about that. Oh, this is a bit awkward here for Zero Four. He's got to land nice rockets, and he does actually. Not even taking much damage himself, but in comes Freys. Just as Zero Four <laughs> pulls out the rail, but he gets out of there as well. Very, very potentially dangerous engagements, but no, uh, no frags going either way just yet. Oh, that was close. I think Freys just picked up that rail. I think that's why he launched himself in that direction so viciously, so he could get position on that that weapon. 
And it looks as if he'll be getting uh, a whole lot more weapons in a second. Uh, he's on the other side of the choke point to get out to the Mega. Zero has taken it, so Freeze has he lost his chance to pick up the kill? Two health left. Freeze is going to get first blood on Sinister. A uh, bit of time left until the items of the railroad off the spawn tied up immediately. And Freeze may be slamming the desk there with uh, some frustration as he's not able to hold on to that one frag lead. And honestly, zero four. I was wondering, thinking, Whoa. can he follow up on this? It's hard to do that on this map. But finding that rail spawn, that is just definitely a nice ton of luck there for zero four. And uh, he capitalized wonderfully. Now he's got a good shout for this mega. That rail though might actually convince Brace to stick around a little bit. But he wants to get position on the red to guarantee some armor himself. But zero four will be able to get some damage in here as well. He knows that Brace could very well be hanging out, so he's gonna be very careful. Brace actually disappearing without even shooting off a shot. He, Definitely could have at least shot a rail. That was an, that's an absolute mess from Freeze. Starting from the the mega health where he took for, uh, zero 04 down to what, 27 health. He should have been right in there challenging for the mega health at that point, but he let zero 04 have it. Then he let zero 04 have the red armor. Uh, Freeze is just he's just taking huge amounts of damage at this point and has given up the, uh, completely unnecessarily the control. Hitting a rail. Can he try and escape from this? I think he's very fortunate that zero 04. Well, okay, he's not anymore. Because that tracking as Fraser's dropping down was not very good, but we've got a lead for the American. Yeah, and he's going for the chase right now, and he's going to just catch Fraser wow. with the rockets, and that is painful. Two frag lead, now it's not unrecoverable by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> so Fraser still has a lot of time to work with, as long as he can slow it down. But that's kind of the, the game plan he's going to have to resort to now, just slowing it down. And Zero Four already feels quite confident. He's got a good picture of how all the items are spawning. Although Red and uh, Mega are quite close together. Oh, he misses the jump as well, actually. So Freya's maybe, if he's around, he could have maybe stolen it away. But he kind of assumed that Zero Four wouldn't make yeah, a mistake okay. there, and and so he couldn't actually take what it. What Freya's was doing there, he's just shaking off uh, the the frustrations of what had happened previously. He knows he made some mistakes. But as Zero Four is going to push through a choke point, not bad damage actually from Freya. But he, he's just about going to be able to escape from that moment. Uh, but following when he had been making, making those mistakes, he's obviously not going to anticipate Zero Four making a movement error, and he is beginning to think, right, it's so early in the game still, it's time to play a slow turtle match and uh, try and make that comeback later on and give respect to Zero Four so that he has the items uh, that he deserves. Uh, make us up, and Freyze is going to leave once again, not risking too much. This two frag lead that Zero Four has is the maximum that he wants to give. And obviously, Zero Four is going to be uh, chasing for, for more. Yeah, it's, it's a really big difference between two and three, and uh, three and four, and so on. And two frags, it's like you know, you get that one kill, and then maybe you get off the spawn, you can get something, yeah. or you get the follow up. You know, Just you get like an that. easier follow up. But but uh, anything more than two, it does become it starts to become quite difficult, to be honest. Um, but Freyze, as you say, he's got loads of time to play with, and uh, he's been doing good keeping some presence in some of these pickups, you know, making sure that he knows the item time and throwing in some damage without giving up too much himself. And uh, but Zero Four, you know, he's, he's getting to the point where he might consider trying to you know, actually grow his lead. So Freyze has to be careful because Zero Four can start to gamble a little bit. Well, I just think I saw Freyze's feet down at the yep. bottom there. The thing is, the both Mega and uh, Red spawn at exactly the same time, and still Freyze not taking the risk. He's got his back turned. He hasn't taken any damage yet, but there's going to be one rail, and Freyze that's probably going to cost him another 20 seconds or so in this game to to stack back up. Yeah, it yeah that burns a lot of time away for Zero Four. Also, it allows Zero Four to essentially set up and or deal with Freyze in a more predictable manner. Because every time he hits damage, if he's keeping track of the stack of Freyze. That affects Fraser's options, how he chooses to make decisions based on his stack. And that's going to allow Zero Four to better predict how to deal with him or where he might be, and so on and so forth. So it becomes very hard for Fraser to actually sort of outmind game Zero Four when you just ha get well, wrecked by rails in that way. I want to switch over to Fraser just to see what he's doing with this uh, slow play. It's really uh, an information game for him at the moment. Maybe had has a guess that uh, Mega's just been taken, but he uh, seems to be getting quite used to playing the the, the yellow game, the, the shard game for the time being. Uh, he hasn't heard red getting taken lately. My concern for Fraser is, although he's you know, not been giving any more frags away and he's been quite effectively taking some armors, he may not have timing on the big important items. 
Yeah, and that's really where he needs to make a big play. That is actually a great reality hit, and he's going to go for the drop on the Mega. And because of that rail, he might feel confident in going for oh, it. What but he's going for the Zero yellow, four. and Zero Four indeed is going to catch him. Phrase did not expect that, but he's in for the Mega, and he actually lands on it as well. And now he's thinking, all right, got to get out of here. This engagement sucks, but. He did quite a lot of damage to Zero Four, and he's got a strong challenge now. He set himself up to take control back, but he's got to hit the shots. Oh, he just saw Mega thought he's going to fail that jump. The LG's good, and he is going to be able to get back in this game. I take back everything I said about him with the missed times. He had a perfect plan there on how to make it all happen. Sure, he got caught out a bit at this lower yellow, but his combat skills carried him through that and has allowed him to just have a one frag difference. Zero four now, the pressure is on him. He's going to have to try and retain that lead and play the game Phrase was a moment ago where he's just trying to collect armors and hide from his opponent. And that, that one rail that Phrase just connected is a really big deal, actually, because Zero Four, I mean, I he's got to be really careful here. His, his health is very low, and Phrase is going to try to look for the follow up because of that reason. And Phrase, also because of that reason, can afford to actually uh, take quite a lot of damage. He wants to push through certain choke points because he knows, one, that Phrase is so weak, and secondly, that he's going to have, he has a good understanding of when the items are coming up. So he's going to be able to pick that fight at an appropriate timing. And he's, oh no, this is really bad for Zero Four. Might just leave, lose the lead right here and right now, but Phrase can't actually connect the follow-up. He can't even decide what weapon to use. <laughs> yeah, that was very strange indeed. So Zero Four will stay alive for the time being, but for how long? Oh, he's oh, just about wow. missing these rail shots. Zero Four should be on the next to no health at this point, but he's surviving for the time being. The rockets are good from the American, and Frey still is not able to land these rail shots. Lower yellow's up, and I think Zero Four is going to be his saving grace for a bit as he's able to stack back up. Phrase, though, still has control, and Zero Four still pulling out the damage. This is not a good time to suddenly miss all of your shots. Yeah, he's, everything is, is, he's, is... He's just missed everything. This is really bad, actually, because he could... He set himself up for the equalizer, and now he's... Maybe that opportunity won't come back. Mega's up in a second, and he's not even going to, to charge for it, I don't think. Is he, is he going to go? Is Zero Four letting him have it? Zero Four maybe giving the respect, expecting a, a rush further. There's a respect from both players at this point. At only two and a half minutes left. There's been about five plus minutes that Fraser's been chasing this lead. Uh, and he's still in for a chance to make it back. But a big opportunity missed already. He's got to be, yeah, he has to be clutch. He's got to find his clutch. Unnecessary aggression right there. He's probably going to falter again. He's got the yellow, but he's going to get the frag with two health remaining. Unbelievable. Fraser's aim, carrying him through it. He's got one rail. He's looking for another, but can't quite land that shot. Mega in a second. I wonder if Zero Four realizes like how weak he is, because he should have a vague idea that uh, Fraser was very, very low after that engagement, but he, he was just uh, seemingly looking after his own stack, especially after hit, receiving some rails, and Fraser thankfully, is starting to hit again. So now he's equalized, and Zero oh, Four is kind of in, in trouble, actually, because he doesn't have much to work with. Fraser should have control into the dying moments of the regular time, at least, because this could actually go over time, I think. It definitely could, but uh, Zero Four, he's got to stabilize a little bit at the moment. He's got to avoid any contact with Freys. Fortunately for Freys, his, uh, his rails have definitely been uh, a little bit shoddy in uh, the last minute and a half. Well, I say that's a bit unfair, but when he's trying to make that comeback a little bit earlier, Freys, uh, with all this armor, though, surely his confidence is going to be re fully regenerated at this point. They're looking to try to make it happen now. Zero Four is in a position where he's got to play for overtime because he needs mm -hmm. he needs more time. And he ha because it's an even One even score, one. then he doesn't have to rush it. He just has to make sure he doesn't die in the next 60 seconds. And then the overtime, oh. the additional time will, will buy him uh, extra opportunities potentially to work himself back into this one. So that's his play. Phrase does not want to go to overtime. He's got to convert on his, his uh, lead, but he has to make sure that the ultra defensive play at 4 doesn't ruin him because 4 should be able to predict fairly well exactly where Phrase is going to come for with the attack. Uh, Phrase knows that Zero Four is turtling this out to get himself to overtime. Uh, he definitely would like to get a close engagement, something on even terms, which would give him uh, a big advantage. Oh, Zero Four didn't quite drop down. I think Phrase expected him to do that. And maybe popped his rockets off a little early. 20 seconds now, and Phrase really needs to make this happen. He can't allow Zero Four to, to make this to overtime. Oh, oh there no. was 10 seconds to go, but Phrase drops off the ledge. He's not going to be able to make it happen. Surely Zero Four is just about to recover. Oh, there's a fight. There's three seconds of Zero Four. He holds on to it. We are going to get overtime in this tiebreaker map. The winner of this is going to be going versus Kilson. The loser is out of the tournament in fifth, sixth place. But Zero Four, he's actually got control in this overtime. Fraser's got no armor to his name at all. 
Um, yeah, that fight really flustered him actually a little bit. And it takes some uh, some really good nerves to actually hold on to this now because he's got to survive. Oh, the angle. Oh, okay. No rail there from Zero Four. But Phrase is in a lot of trouble. The Mega will be, uh, or at least is available there for Zero Four to pick up. He's going to take that one. Not sure if Phrase would have been able to hear that from here, actually. So he's going to start to have a bit of a poor picture on the uh -oh. map, and he can't afford to uh, take the fight here. Wow, those rockets really save him. But the rail comes in from Zero Four. With a minute and 15 left, Brace, he does get himself on the red very quickly. Can he escape and try and fight a little later? Resources have been tied up nicely, but the American legendary player looking to put himself in the top four this tournament. Yeah, one of the all-time greats indeed. Will it be the old veteran or the, the newcomer from down under to take this one? So far, it's looking very good for the veteran. We've got through four with a mega pickup to recover all lost health. Phrase seemingly popping out of nowhere. They're finding a nice Where did engagement. He come from? Down to 70 health there for zero four. One rail oh, would oh. do it, but I don't think Phrase has one to throw at him. Zero four is actually in a bit of trouble now. We've got about 35 seconds to go. I'm going to switch over to Phrase as he's the one looking to make that comeback. <laughs> He's actually engineer, engineered it quite well to give himself the chance, but he's feeling that he has to get some resource. He finds it at the top. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. 20 seconds to go, and now Zero Four is going to be running off the spawn. Is Brace going to go for the frag, or is he just going to try and solidify that control? Mega's gone, so he's going to assume that something's up, and that Zero Four has got what he needs to get one more overtime. Yeah, zero four has to somehow survive. He's playing again for the overtime. Oh no, caught with the rail. Although the f the follow up can't be found there for for phrase, but that's okay because he's in a really good position to actually get the frag because zero four doesn't have much to work. He managed to get uh, the fifty there to recover some health. Gets got some uh, shards as well. But phrase knows exactly what's up at the moment. Looking for the drop there on the yellow. Find zero four. The rockets though are going to send phrase flying, and he can't follow it up just there. Zero four defends, but for how long? Oh my god, that was really risky from Phrase to go over there. Zero Four would have uh, had a really solid guess that that's when the item would be spawning. And he's maybe just given up some uh, a large amount of control to Zero Four. Red is up, but he's going to he's gonna get caught out here. Is Zero Four going to be able to get the frag? Not quite yet, but he's taken that top yellow. He's taken the red armor as well. Is he going to be able to get the lower yellow? Phrase could be completely starved of everything. Yeah, another desperate position. It's, it's so funny how both players have switched controls so often. Zero four, here he comes. The rock is going to connect with Phrase, but he's oh, able oh. to get through the teleporter in time and also get a bit of extra damage there onto zero four. And once again, he will uh, he will be safe for now, but he's still very much in a dangerous position, looking for any scraps that zero four might leave him. As zero four can pick the moment to be aggressi aggressive, and Phrase just has to react. Yeah, I was thinking, I was getting a bit nervous there. Phrase decided that he wanted to go for that lower yellow. Getting a bit of uh, decent damage up at the top. Uh, making some good reason. And a rail right at the end, and that's earned him the top yellow. That's important. Getting to 100 100 is a massive sort of safety net. He is going to feel very relieved to have gotten that. Mega up in a moment. He doesn't want to chance fully. Zero Four still has him outstacked. And it would be a stupid fight to pick at this point, but that's a rail there from Zero Four. Solid shot just to keep him at bay and make sure that the phrase has to continue uh, stacking up on the smaller items around the map. This is a real test of composure here again. Yep. Zero Four, all of Zero Four's you know, many years of experience in Grand Finals is really good, will be paying off in situations like this as he you know holds his nerve and his composure. And phrase will be <laughs> truly tested as he will not have had that quite that experience that Zero Four has in this these spots. So he's got to be clutch. And here comes Zero Four. Oh my God. Phrase once again denies him and gets out of there. He really doesn't want to take a fight. He's playing it so so safe at the moment, but you can't do that forever. Can you get this yellow? Is this going to be safe? Yeah, Mega's going to be taken by Zero Four. Fortunately for Frazier, doesn't have to worry about any of the ammunition for the timing. It's literally just items. Ammo management, perfect. Items, a bit of a question mark above it. Now this is uh, overtime number three, so a uh, minute and a half remains in that. And I'm at this point, I'm not going to be surprised if we see another one. Uh, 200 armor Frazier hasn't felt the luxury of 100-200 for a couple of minutes. Yeah, he's had a really good track on the Mega as well, and we'll probably see him uh, again, seeing if Zero Four is going to give it up. And Zero Four, oh, wow. he's adapted actually, coming in from where Phrase normally hides and pushes Phrase out of the Mega, which was the play that he was making. He wanted to stand for it. He had 200 armor, but Zero Four is going to win that fight, win the Mega health, and once again send Phrase into a spot where he has to burn a lot of time just picking up yellows to ha make the same play. Great ad uh, adaption from Zero Four. 
about Lycoy's phrase and not committing to the fight when he saw it. He got surprised, but he managed to escape in time so that he's not going to give up that frag. He's used to be playing a bit out of control right now. Obviously, it's uh, annoying for him to have to continue having that pressure on him, but he's going to have a, a solid rail there. Fraser's going to have to just leg it. Another rail here from Zero4, and one more! Zero4 taking the lead. What an incredible series of shots from him. Zero4 are just going to drop down onto him. That's six to four for Zero4, and he's got 25 seconds to go. Is that it? Is that the straw that broke the cow's back? It is! Phrase calls GG, and Zero4 is making a top four placement at QuakeCon 2016. And he is going to be absolutely delighted that he's standing up. I think hands are being shaken uh, at this moment. That was so, so intense. Map. And again, I, I can't emphasize like, the level of experience mm -hmm. that it takes to really play those spots really well. Frey did really, really well. That's so yeah. difficult. And if you imagine all the fights where it went backwards and forwards, where frag wasn't exchanged, but control was exchanged, yeah. how intense that is when it's the map that can eliminate you, that's... That is insane. That's nuts. Is that, is that him handling the pressure in the overtime scenarios? Do you think that's it, being able to really not get nervous in that moment that, that held it? Because Fraze, obviously, when he's not got control, he's the ones where his hands might be uh, might be shaking a little bit. Yeah, I, f I think uh, Fraze held his nerve very, very well, actually, overall. He played fantastically well. I think Zero Four just, I mean, that was such an amazing display of skill. And reads as well. Again, we saw the adaptation from Zero Four because Fraze was showing some patterns there as to how he wanted to say, okay, I've got my yellows. I know where the mega mega is, and I can I can kind of stand somewhat close by. So he's standing near the 50, near the rail, and Zero Four saw that once or twice. He's like, okay, next time then I'm going to come in from the back. Yeah. And he, that's how he caught Phrase, pushed him off of the mega, was able to then push the fight and then close the frag that he needed to close. So a lot of you know mind games going on between the two mm -hmm. players. And the only thing that I can really say uh, for Fraser is there's just that one moment where we saw him missing a few shots where, where he should really have closed the kill. Yeah, yeah. may have even been able to avoid over time altogether. That's going to be the one moment where he look, he'll look yeah, back on it and be, that, that was where I lost it. Yeah, yeah. And but those rails right at the end from 0-4, those three in a row where Fraser, you could see he's just about to make it around the corner, but 0-4 uh, is just able to somehow clutch all those shots to get him that victory. Um, I'm not sure what people's predictions would have been on that. I think personally, I would have expected Frace to win this series outright. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Shows up some really strong performance and uh, um, yeah, heart from 0-4 to be making it this far in the tournament. I wonder what we'll have later on when we get Kilson going up versus 0-4. Sorry, Kilson, no revenge for you this time. Frace is out, but maybe that's for the better for him. Uh, next match uh, up fairly shortly is going to be Rafa and Evil. I believe we will soon, though, get a interview. Uh, set up for us. Yes, we have an interview indeed. So the man himself, oh, John04, Hill is there with Jahar. Let's hear from the legend. Hey, thanks guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, gonna keep this uh, really short and sweet since the pressure's on and uh, you're still in this. So how are you feeling right now? Uh, after that last game, I'm feeling good. I'm good. <laughs> gotta be, gotta be. Uh, so what do you think of going to the next round? Um, I know Kilson has been practicing a lot um, I saw him in the practice area yes, uh, yesterday. Um, he's a world-renowned champion, so I'm going to just take it, you know, one map at a time, do my best. What were you thinking when he was uh, playing Sparty just in the last one? Uh, who won? Oh, so what was the map score? I don't even know. It was, uh, well, Sparty took the first one, but then it was, uh, you know, Kilson was solid for the next three. Okay. No, I thought it was going to be, I mean, I think they're uh, practice partners, so it's kind of one of those situations where it's unfortunate that you have to play each other uh, mid-tournament, but um, yeah, no, the uh, I didn't really know who was stronger, um, so it seems like Kilson is. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Do we get uh, spoilers for your uh, for your map pick strategy against uh, Kilson? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop Battle Forge. <laughs> I didn't have time to learn the map. Um, I really wanted to. It looked like it would be a, a strength of mine, but um, just you know, I was moving and had a lot on real life. Um, stuff going on, so I didn't really get to practice it at all. That's right. Have you been able to practice much in general uh, leading up to this? No, I actually just uh, switched jobs. Um, I just um, my buddy and I are doing a, a startup now, a uh, rolling project. It's uh, so it's in its infancy, and um, it's uh, it's been a long two weeks, a lot of moving, a lot of changing jobs. So no, I haven't been able to practice as much as I like to, but. Um, Having a solid day on Thursday really got me up to speed, I think. Um, you know, the, the situation with Phrase on that last map, those are the situations that I, I, I really enjoy. It's the, you know, the, the, the next kill wins. Um, it's no longer really how you play the map. It's really how you play the opponent. You're picking up on patterns. 
you're, you're understanding what they like to do. And by the end of the match, you know, whoever catches on first and creates a trap or gets in the other player's mind is going to win the game. And luckily, I was able to see a few patterns he was doing and, and exploit it. Absolutely, and it does look like uh, the gameplay in general on Sinister has evolved quite a bit uh, since its launch. You know, it was, it was immediately kind of popular. We already saw it in some map pools, but uh, it's really become sort of a refined thing. Are, are you going to be uh, looking forward to that against Kilson? No, I hate Sinister. <laughs> no, I, I don't, uh, I actually don't enjoy A lot of these maps do not, uh, are not my strengths, I'd say. So um, I try to play them a little bit differently than the norm, and so... Um, uh, no, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm ready to play him, and we'll see how it goes. So can I ask a little bit more about your company? Because you used that as the team name yesterday in Quake World. Yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to get the name out there. Uh, it has nothing to do with gaming, but maybe I'm going to... So what is it then? It's, uh, it's, we're kind of a lifestyle brand. So, um, you know, we, we uh, specialize in actually vintage cars, vintage SUVs, and then um, create a kind of a lifestyle brand. So I, I plan in the future to, you know, bring gaming into it. Just not, not right now. <laughs> Do you think your uh, Quake World matches yesterday helped uh, sharpen you up for today? No, not at all. We got crushed. <laughs> <laughs> all the uh, great talent from uh, the East and the South, they came in and just absolutely annihilated everyone. But, I mean, as they should, they've been you know, playing the game for 20 years, and you, know, you can tell. Absolutely. All right, man. Well, won't hold you any longer. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys. Back, we are going to be moving into 